If you are making your living as a professional gamer, then one thing which might be a concern from time to time is keeping your system free of virus infections. And one of the best tools that I recommend for this is called Hijack This, which is available from Trend Micro, and it's a very tiny download. It's only about 380 kilobits, and it's a portable app too. It's just uh, one exe file, and it allows you to scan your system and this goes through your registry and beyond to see everything that is happening automatically as well as a lot of different settings which might have been uh, set up or established like right here it shows me my uh, DNS servers that I've chosen and that's not something that I want to see every single time that I do a scan in fact, if you want to get the best use out of Hijack This, then I recommend running it shortly after you've just done a reinstallation of Windows. And of course, if you're a Windows user, you know how bad Windows is and how frequently it just needs to be completely reinstalled from the ground up just to keep stuff moving along smoothly. So. The next time you do that, get hijack this and run it right away as soon as you got uh, everything installed that you want. At that point you have a pretty clean system. And then we're going to start telling hijack this what to ignore. So place check marks next to everything. And then click on add checked to ignore list say yes I'm sure and then those things drop off the list they'll never appear on another scan done with hijack this so ideally each time that you do a scan you're gonna see slim to nothing pretty much nothing new and if you start to see new stuff showing up uh, which is pretty common after you've installed programs then uh, if it's something that you installed you trust it of course add that to the ignore list if you suddenly see something that you did not add and particularly after your system started to act poorly well that's probably something that you don't want to be running it could be related to a virus as an advanced computer user when something goes wrong you might be accustomed to doing this you go over to your taskbar go to task manager you look through your processes here and especially here and maybe you find stuff that you don't recognize and then you look it up online and it's a mess it, it really sucks looking up what every single little process is uh, because you don't always find good information that really defines what it is and it's a big waste of time it's because it's just inefficient so let hijack this do that for you simply make your selection about what you want to know about just by highlighting it in blue and then click here info on selected item and there is my description and pretty much any process that anything that's typical or common um, including some stuff that's kind of obscure and isn't installed on many systems it's all in their database and it pulls up instantly so if you can remember that you're gonna save hours over the course of your lifetime and of course since this video is about getting the most out of hijack this we're gonna take a look at some of the new features that have been added over the last year or two so we're going to click on config and then place a check mark right here run hijack this right at startup and let me know if you find anything new 
How is Afra staying up to date on exactly what's happening with your system? If anything gets installed uh, in kind of stealthy style without you knowing it, you'll find out on the next reboot. This is also where you'll find your ignore list if you happened to add something that you actually didn't want to ignore. And of course, there is a function to make backups of files before you quote unquote fix them, fixed checks. Okay, this is what my scan looks like after I have gotten rid of everything that I'm pretty familiar with. And one thing I thought was kind of cool was it found that there was a file missing with one uh, process which runs automatically. I might want to take a quick look at that and see if I can fix it. And from a hacker standpoint, this was a little interesting. Update.microsoft.com is placed into the trusted zone, which of course suggests that anyone that wants to make an entry to a host file, well that's one quick way to be trusted by a lot of computers. This is RPG Reseller, keeping your computer clean so you can keep on gaming.